Hey guys, so basically breaking this whole render set uh, setup down, it was fairly easy. Actually, it was actually really fun to, to do this one here. And I used the Max Hayes setup style. Like I like how he has a little preview here in the right hand corner, which I thought was really nice because I'm it able to keep I'm able to keep the render going the whole time. And since it's so small that it's not really affecting my viewport too much, and uh, it really helps with laying things out. So I started with my hero object here and then immediately black out the lights because again, I wanna kinda think like I'm painting with light. I'm gonna be using the light to guide this render. So this is something that I, I used to do a lot, but I'm getting back into doing it again now when I'm building scenes. So I hear I kind of just playing with some different focal lengths here using the real camera uh, setups in Blender Octane. And I ended up going with a 28 millimeter. Again, thinking like uh, we're, you know, two guys are out on, on an adventure and I have a 28 millimeter on this lens here. It's a 28 to 50 uh, or 18 to uh, 55. So I'm familiar with that focal length. And now I'm just kind of, you know, practicing putting, placing, blocking the scene out, basically. I'm using some assets that I have converted from uh, Quixel Bridge. And anytime I download a Quixel Bridge asset, I go into my uh, Quixel Bridge file. And in that file, I save all the assets. So anytime I download it, I just convert it over to Octane one time and then it's done. So the library is slowly growing. So here you can see, I'm just kind of placing objects around, blocking them out. I'm not really worried about matching colors and things like that right now. Just pretty much blocking stuff out. And, and it's nice because you're blocking things out with actual like real cool geometry, right? So duplicating the, the asset here, again, this the tempo was from Max Hayes. All of these, uh, he has this free, a bunch of free assets that he gives gives away if you go to his website. So I'm, I converted mine over to Octane and that was kind of like the motivation. I like, I want to use them. So again, just kind of like trying to tell a story like, okay, these guys, maybe some type of ancient tribe lived here on this mountainside. Now they don't, maybe there was like an earthquake or something and like, you know, they, they left and moved on. So I was just kind of, just kind of telling the story as I was building this up here. And you can see here, I kind of killed the render on this one because I just really wanted to work a little bit more faster. And then um, just kind of, you know, trying to build up the scene a little bit. Now also here, I, I was thinking about how am I gonna just stack a bunch of rocks on here? So I literally just threw a ground plane on here and then threw a another uh, Quixel Bridge texture on it. And that really helped me get the, the rock face look. And now here, I'm kind of playing with what I wanna use. Like I'm using an acrylic uh, analytical eye light and this actually produces fog, right? Now I ended up not using it because I just didn't like the way the light looked and the way the light behaved. Plus the the value the value metrics is only going to be coming from the light source. So I eventually build on this whole setup, and then you can see here I'm just kind of I'm, I'm literally just playing with the light, trying to get something interesting going. I went from many times from like a, like a daylight to a dark something and like kind of just back and forth. So eventually what I ended up doing, I think was um, I did bring in a, a fog box and now you can see here, I'm trying to play with, okay, well, let's maybe let's go with the daytime look because I wasn't liking the way the fog was coming out. And I actually came back to this file the next day and the actual final render you see is the next day because I played with the fog some more and I found out a better way to do a fog box in Blender Octane. Because here I was using the full environment fog, which I did not like because it just wasn't giving me the range that I wanted. Like I really wanted that background to kind of look like it's depth deep in the fog. And that just wasn't happening when I was using the world environment. It can happen, but you just got to really play with it. And you can see here, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to get that, that look. And then I used the, a fog box here, but I didn't... Um, what did I use here? I think I just used a volume... I ended up using, yeah, I used a volume medium. I actually went back and changed that to a, a scatter medium and that worked out a lot better and I got a lot more better results. So I basically figured out, doing this render, I basically figured out my situation on how to get a fog box going in Octane. And it's it works out really well. So again, I bailed on the fog because it just wasn't coming out the way I like it. That's one thing I will say with cycles, like using the volumetric fog box is easy setup. Like in Octane, you're gonna have to work with it a little bit, but now I've got the key, so I know how to, to snap it in really quick. So here you see also in the background, I threw a plane and just threw an image on there. This is something that I learned from a CG Boost uh, tutorial. Like it really helps just to throw an image plane on there, put a, a smite um, emission on it. Boom, you got your kind of background. And now I'm just trying to like, you know, fill up the background, get something in here. And I kind of ended up not liking what I did there because it was like too, like just random. So the foreground, 
looks okay, but then I've got that mid ground, which is okay. Then the between the mid ground and the background, I just didn't like the way things were coming out. So now again, I'm playing with the 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 uh, environment, but I'm using the world environment this time. And I ended up using it, but I said the next day I went back and changed it because I didn't like the results that I was getting out of it. So now I'm in Photoshop. And I'm just going to do some quick photoshopping on this. Again, you got to always do posts. Like, it's just like, it's mandatory, man. If you really want to make your renders look good, you got to go in there and post and play. So I always do that in any of my renders. I, they always come to Photoshop or something and just do some. So here I'm playing with some lens dirt and just trying to get like some weird lens, you know, dirtness happening. And I kind of really, it was so subtle that you probably didn't even notice it. And Again, I was using a Dehancer here, my Dehancer plugin to try to get some film stock look. I was really trying to make it look like an old retro photo. And I ended up going back the next day, which I didn't record and changed everything around post because I here I literally did this in 30, about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. And then I, I cut it off. I had to go to bed. So it was it was fun to knock this out really in 30 minutes. I work. I think I can come up with some really good stuff when I have like a really tight time crunch like if i sit here and give myself all day to work on this i'll just kind of like Bleh. but if i was like all right you got 35 minutes come up with something and then they're just like boom i just for some reason i work better under pressure here i'm playing with some photoshop effects like just something i learned from a uh, uh, bleeple beeple he likes to use like a lot of the filters and just kind of you know muck it up a little bit and make it not look like it's a render so i was kind of just playing around with some of that stuff here and adding like some paper textures on here again just playing, just trying to have fun, right? So ended up not using a lot of that stuff. And that was pretty much it for this render. If you guys want to watch more of these videos down below, check the link for my Blender Octane course. It's in my Blender Octane community. There you can get immediate access. And for the next seven days, I'll knock five bucks off. So jump on that, get in there, finish watching some more of these videos and get access to the newest videos as soon as they are finished cooking from me. Patrick LeVar, catch you guys in the next one. Take a look at this video. Peace.